A doctor told the mother of a girl with severe medical conditions that assisted suicide was an option. The daughter could hear every word of their conversation. Welcome back to IO, I'm Charlotte Dobre. 25 year old Candace Lewis suffers from a large array of conditions like spina bifida, cerebral palsy and chronic seizure disorder. Her mother Sheila has been caring for her all her life. The two of them go to St. Anthony Hospital in Newfoundland and often experience mistreatment by the medical staff. On one occasion, a nurse referred to Candace as a frequent flyer at the hospital, which is an extremely insensitive thing to say to someone who's extremely sick and always in and out of the hospital. Then last November, when Candace was very sick, a doctor named Aaron Haro told her mother that her daughter was dying and she should end her life. He told her these words specifically. He told her that assisted suicide death was legal in Canada now. Sheila was shocked and said, well I'm not really interested. The doctor then told her that she was being selfish. All of this occurred when poor Candace was within earshot, meaning she could hear every word of that conversation. Both Candace and Sheila suffered serious emotional distress after this, and for good reason. Imagine how it would feel if a licensed medical professional told you you should just give up on living after so many years of fighting. Choosing to end the life of a family member is also an extremely hard decision to make. Not to mention, Candace is able to verbally communicate, and she's an adult, so she's the one who would have to decide if she wanted to end her own life. Now, several months later, Sheila wants a formal apology from Labrador Grenfell Health. Sheila was told that the doctor didn't intend to cause her distress, but she still believes her and her daughter deserve an apology. If you've ever had a loved one who was very sick and near the end of their life, you want to spend every moment they have left together, regardless of how sick they are or how inconvenient their hospital visits have become. According to the CBC, Labrador Grenfell Health said that it could not discuss the details of the case, but offered to arrange a meeting with her daughter's care team at her earliest convenience. Sheila hopes that in bringing this case to light, other family members will not have to go through what she and her daughter have. That is all for now. Thanks for watching IO.